to make sure the mortar is thumb print hard or finger print hard. This is a little chilly day today, but it's it's about right. You can see my fingerprints are yep. setting up nicely. Set, set them nice. The mortar is not liquidy at all. I can make a little like silly play putty dough out ball, of it. silly putty. So I just take the tool and it's about all you have to do. You don't want to pull it up. And then if we want to, we can come back and we'll brush it with a nylon bristle brush. And the mortar will more or less conform to the difference in this stone and this stone's texture. And we'll get these little crumbs off the edge. But we wait a little while longer to do that once it's dried a little bit more. If I had a sharper tip here, I could actually rake the joint. So this is more like a flush joint. It's all subjective. So all this here, I can use it down below if I need to. In fact, Peter, can you grab a, a wee pole? Do we have a blade so we can cut that in? Or even that screwdriver would work. Mm -hmm. but I, button cap, I'll just take it out right now. I'll grab some of my mortar from down here, so there's a bit of a void there. And this is a little bit wetter than I'd want it to be, but it will still work, as you can see. This is where the guy, I didn't think he filled the joint all the way, and we'll see if it yeah, it's pushed in a little bit and it didn't come to the surface all the way of that area. So I'll do this. Just do a little quickie repair. Yeah, just do a little quickie repair. Me personally, I tend to like to just tool the joint once and then put the brush in it. You may see people go back and forth and back and forth. And I don't see any reason to do that unless it's some visual that you're after. When you come to a corner you can actually roll the... and this stone is a little bit loose, that's the button cap one. So maybe I should have left that in or probably yeah, let the mortar cure a little bit longer. But once it's cured, it's, it's, it'll be solid. It'll lock in. It'll lock in. I can I can tell the mortar over here is set up a little bit more than on the right because we started over here. It's had a little more time, so. I'm gonna try to film uh, it from this side with the light. We can have a bristle brush. Do we have one? Nylon. Right there. Right there. So if I I could use I'm gonna use the screwdriver, and I'm just gonna go like this. It's a little bit wetter than I would like it to be. Just come in and insert the weep hole drain. Yep. So Warren, that's what's gonna okay. allow it to okay. uh, All right. to breathe. To breathe. And then you just take the brush. So I have the snots, I either get them with the back of the handle or is that a technical term? <laughs> <laughs> yes it is, just like <laughs> tools are. Um, now this is a little bit wet because I know what's gonna happen is well, there's actually not brush. too much on the edge of the brush, but if, if it's if it really was. wet, I'll end up putting a nice light smear of cement yep. paste yep. on the surface of the stones. So you really want to wait until that's kind of crumbly. It's, and it's, it's almost there. It's pretty close. It's, it's just... very close. Now you can see right here how it kind of starts to mold the, yep. the mortar to the size of the stone or the edges. Now here, that's a good example. Mm -hmm. I grabbed it with the brush. The brush has now got, took that and put it right there. And you really don't want to do what I'm doing right now because it's going to stay in the stone. But there's, the colors are so subtle right now. Mm -hmm. You have one in your office that's from North Carolina. It's a red one. That, this would definitely 
stain that stone yep. because there's a big difference in color. I'm not going to brush that one too much. That's the one so this is kind of a, a purpley brown stone, right? If I'm seeing, if I'm not being colorblind here. Yeah, Peter, what's the palette say? I think this is, uh, if it's purpley, it's going to be am uh, Margot beige. Um, so you, you could obviously adjust your mortar color to taste too, right? Or, or do you guys have? No, we don't have color right now. And see, Can you add color? You could. Okay. Here's an example. The mortar's a little too wet. Actually, yep. this is the joint that wasn't full all the way. So when I brushed it, I just put that mortar in there. It's pulling away. It's a beige Margot. Margot beige. That's what I thought it was. It has a little bit of purple in it. So that's it. Awesome. Actually, I got one little... Now, if you were to use a metal tool, you're going to put a sheen or a shine right, on that surface. Right, There's right, no doubt about it. Yep.